Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here for part five of the mini LP of Oregon Trail. Last time we made more progress. We were getting very near the end. No new skills. I can't remember if we did this stuff already. Ooh, normal recovery for two fuel? Sure. Ever since we lost a couple of, like, four fuel from a freaking bandit a while back. Let's go. Uh, like we haven't seen this a few times already, but like I said, this is one of my favorite types of missions because it's generally quite easy. Generally, not always. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up the recovery crate with two containers of fuel. These missions don't really make sense, though, because it shouldn't... Shouldn't, doesn't that technically mean that you lost two fuel like on the way in and then you had to go retrieve it? That kind of makes more sense to me. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, we've got plenty of scrap, plenty of food. We've got pretty much everything we're going to need to maybe even make it to the end, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, let's check the map. I think we're right around here. And now, for whatever reason, by this point, like, the nuclear fallout area right around D.C., like, disappears. I don't know why that is. So we've got four more landmarks until we reach the finish, so... I think we can make it at least one more. A bite gang. Another one? Seriously? Eh, you deal with, like, three or four in the game anyway. I think we gotta cross one more horde of zombies as well. Yeah, we've already done this a few times. It's not like it's anything new. Whatever. We bikes mania thing. I don't know. Got it. And now we take you out, and you, and you, and we did it. You survived the attack. Excellent. All right, 362 miles to Vegas. You notice something going on off the road. Let's go check it out like to see another event happen. A shady looking fellow and a game of cups. Well, we lost last time, but let's try again. Nothing, we're gonna shoot him, cause I'm a dick. Goodbye, dude, that's for cheating. I bet you cheated. <laughs> oh God, I know that's not necessary, but I choose to do it anyway. We got the ammo to spare anyway. You know, it's kind of bad because, like, I wanted any excuse whatsoever to shoot Kate. Hey, I just got my excuse! Yay! I was just saying I don't have any excuse to get rid of her. Jen come on, Jennifer Lawrence. You don't need to break a rib. Caitlin gets shot by a stray bullet. Well, you know what? Let's put her out of her misery. Yay! Sorry. I was just waiting for this moment all game. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting for that so badly. Ugh, yes. I was just waiting for that chance. Okay, the rest of you, I'm gonna keep you guys alive all the way there. I will do whatever it takes to keep you guys alive. Because I really like all of you. And now Jennifer Lawrence is like the last woman left in the world, so. Well, even though that's obviously not true, according to this game, but Jennifer Lawrence is like the last girl left, so let's keep her alive. Nick and Ken are both great friends, and I mean, one's one of my best friends, one's my roommate in college, so I prefer not to lose them, if at all possible. Who would have known that I would get the excuse right there to do that? All right. Uh, let's head back out and reach the next settlement before we go scavenging. Nick finds some money in the pot in his pocket. Okay, thank you, Nick. Thank you very much, Nick. Free money. Jennifer is dicking around with one battery and accidentally ruins it. Come on, Jennifer Lawrence, really? Oh, uh, you had to destroy a battery. I think it's funny how it's just like, uh, it's just simply like, oh, they dicked with a battery and you lost it. It's kind of funny. It's just random. The T-Virus? 
Okay, so now we're ripping off Red Dawn. Did I just seriously say ripping off Red Dawn? I don't know where that was coming from. I meant to say apparently we're ripping off Resident Evil, geez. Ooh. We kind of need that battery though. I might be able to do this. It's seven of them, so I might be able to do this. Ugh, come on, game. This is not gonna be easy. Come on, get into a pattern I can get through. I can deal with it, at least. Ugh. I gotta save at least some ammo for the end of the game, and for scavenging, because we don't have as much food as I would have liked. There we go, got one. Just one less bullet. Ah, I missed. Missed. Got him. Four left. It would have been so much easier just to trade, like, 30 ammo for a battery. That would have made more sense if it was a trade available. Ah, missed. Come on. Gotcha. One to go. And we have gotten the battery. If I could hit the last guy. Get up. There we go. Alright, battery. That, uh, whatever that thing is that makes the things go faster was quite helpful. What's... Oh, no, I don't really need to repair, but even though I can afford it, though, I have so much money. Less likely for tires to break? Sure, because we have the money, so might as well... That's actually not a bad price for repairing. Let's let's do it once. We have the money, so might as well. Uh, high zombie activity, though, so we can't really deal with that right now. Uh, I am going to give Jennifer a med kit, just because she's lost so much health. It's funny, she's the only one that's not bitten by a zombie yet. We're going to rest for four hours. But now we're only using up eight food per hour, so we're going to last longer. I was just waiting for that excuse to put down Caitlyn. Oh well, I'm happy now. I'm very happy. And I will do whatever I can to protect the remaining group. Except that Ken's got the freaking T-Virus. He and Nick are both bitten by zombies. And Jennifer ruined a battery. Alright, let's repair the car again. Let's get this thing fairly well repaired before we head into the, uh... To the ends. Now, obviously, I could have kept Caitlyn alive if I had wanted to. I could have kept her alive. It would have been slightly tougher for me, but I could have done it. I just chose not to. We probably need to scavenge once or twice, actually. I say we go ahead and do this just because I don't want to risk running... <sighs> Typical. Which one is it? Oh, it's the bear. Oh, this is actually kind of nice because you guys didn't get to see me fight him because... I had to fight him off screen because it was during one of those times when I was scavenging off screen. Uh, with this boss, pretty much all you have to do is just avoid him and every time you shoot him, it'll slow him down a bit. Ooh, that was close. Go away, bear. Go away. I don't like you. There we go. So this is actually probably the easiest of the two sort of ground boss fights Then you have the other one when it's like the things charge after you on the road. All right, we're going to scavenge a couple more times. Now, the more supplies you have at the end, the higher your score is. But I'm not overly concerned with score, because if you wanted a really good score, you'd want to have all four members of your party still alive and make it to the end. Preferably have all of them zombies or be bitten, because that'll actually increase your score quite a bit. And you'd also want to be playing on one of the higher difficulties as well as having all the supplies. So, yeah. I'm not this crap, I'm not going to be able to get that when I sort of screwed around there for a second. No, you're not fighting me, Mr. Crawley. Go away, Mr. Crawley. Kind of crazy, because, I mean, the crawlers are just, they're hard to hit, technically. Uh, we got food. Okay, 250 ounces of food. Uh, let's scavenge again. We have more than enough fuel to make it to the end, I believe. We should, at least. I hope that we do. Unless something drastic happens with our fuel supply, we should easily be able to make it on that. And we definitely have enough ammo to make it to the end. And we should, say should, have enough food. I don't see how we would not end up with enough food. But you never know. Something very bad could happen, so you never really know. Ugh. 
but I don't think we're gonna have any serious problems with that. We've still got like 11 medkits left, so we shouldn't have to worry about anyone dying. Uh, let's see, we've got 1,300 food almost. I think we're good. We should not need any more tires because of that upgrade I bought, so we should be okay on tires. The T-Virus should wear off eventually. The edibility of some of your food you toss to be safe. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's not like it's that big a deal. Alright, Ken is cured of the T-Virus. Excellent. I don't think you just get cured of the T-Virus, but this is a video game, so who knows. You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies, but we have chainsaw windows. Why would that ever be a problem? And seriously, how did they even get bitten in the first place? Like... I know that Nick got bitten getting out to take a piss, so his at least kind of makes sense. But I'm pretty sure that Ken and Caitlyn just randomly got bitten out of nowhere. And we have chainsaws on the windows, so that probably should not have happened. Just saying. Uh, jobs. Recovery. Ooh, yes. 24 ammo. Sure. Going for that, for sure. Might as well, since we have, uh... Since we're nearing the end, it might not be a bad idea to get a little extra ammo. Because you're going to need quite a bit of ammo at the very end of the game. Haha. Tee hee. Would have liked to have had the faster reload skill at some point, but I guess we may not end up getting that. Alright, fine. You're just going to get, uh... Circled around. Crap! Where did they all come from? Okay, that was kind of messed up. They usually don't spawn that way, especially on a normal level. And no new things to learn. Well, our luck is just going so bad, isn't it, guys? High zombie activity. Well, that's just freaking fantastic. Alright, let's rest for three hours. Get everyone healed up. Alright, everyone's nice and healed. Uh, let's look at the roadmap. Ro uh, glitch. Uh, let's try it again. Yeah, sometimes it does that. And now, for whatever reason, this part's irradiated again, so that just randomly switches on and off. The rest of it all stays the same all game. Should be right around here. Yep. So only two more stops to safe haven, and the next one's pretty close. Salt Lake City. Excellent. Let's go. You rummage one med kit. Nice! I'll take that. Definitely. You rummage 29 ammo off a body. Man, maybe our luck's starting to turn around a little bit. We were having kind of bad luck earlier. Maybe it's starting to turn around just a bit. Uh, rumbling sound. Ah, oh, come on, again? We've already done this twice. Why are you making me do it again? Like, obviously I've had it happen quite a few times before in my previous playthroughs, but I've never had it happen three times in one playthrough, even on the higher difficulties. So this is just incredibly stupid that I'm being forced to do this for a third time. God, and this time it gave me a way tougher set of spawns, seriously. Okay, I get it, I've already done this twice and you gave me a way tougher spawn setup. How long is this gonna last? Thank you. Well, the car's pretty badly damaged, so we're gonna need to repair it at the next stop. But we're almost there. It's going to need multiple repairs, actually. It's really low health. You hear a sharp pop. Your battery exploded, but you replaced it from supplies right as we entered the city, anyway. What's our jobs? Defense, not going to happen. Recovery, not going to happen for that much money. We don't need it. What's the upgrade? Chance to heal party members. Yeah, that's actually kind of a nice upgrade. I don't know how how helpful it's going to be in what's left of the game, but hey, you know, might as well. Uh, first off, car's in really bad shape. We need to repair it at least twice to make it to the next uh, area, and especially to the end. We've got enough scrap, though, to where I don't think we're going to have to worry. Yep. It's going to fail again, though, before this is done. Just watch. I guarantee it's going to fail at least one more time. Possibly two more times. 
All right, one more time and it'll be good. All right, wow, the car, it could make it all the way actually, because there's only one more stop. All right, we're gonna rest for three hours, give everyone one last good chance to rest before the second to last push. This next area is like 400 miles, so it's really far away. It's like a 10 hours from here or something. 10 in-game hours, so that's gonna take up quite a bit of food and such. Let's head out. And I think we have to cross one last horde of zombies. It's small and alert, but we can automatically fight through. <laughs> uh, chainsaw windows, you help so much, and they don't even take ammo away from us for this, which is awesomeness. Your chainsaw windows kept the horde at bay as you fought your way through. Excellent. 570 miles. Okay, I was way off. That's a really long way away. You find some roadkill that's probably safe to eat. This is going to take a while. You wait for an hour while Jennifer vomits in the bushes. Jennifer Lawrence, did you steal alcohol from Nick? Really? You didn't need to steal from Nick. Uh... It looks like something interesting. Ah, uh, let's check it out. What's going on? Flickering lights draw you to a small church. You open the doors and a man kneeling in prayer quickly looks back at you, back at you with a desperate smile across his face. Thank you, Lord. My prayers have been answered. Approach cautiously. You reach for your gun and approach the man slowly. He notices you motioning for your gun and starts nodding and muttering to himself, his hands still in prayer. Let's ask him what he's doing. I pray for your arrival. I need you to kill me. Oh, so he's been bitten. Uh, I'm going to give him a gun. Okay, we'll shoot him, because he refuses to do otherwise. Let's put him out of misery. Alright, well, hey, you know, I don't necessarily blame him. I'd rather be dead than turn into a zombie, so... I don't blame him for wanting to die in the zombie apocalypse like that. I'd probably put a, everyone in a bad mood. God, we're so freaking far away. Two scrap flies out the window, that's not really a big deal. We're gonna make it, so... A pile of zombies feasting on something or someone again. We've already seen that. Nick was holding the map upside down. You go an hour out of the way. Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate that. Hey, he drives at 100 miles an hour, so he would probably get us there way faster. It would destroy the car, yes, but he'd get us there way faster. <laughs> Alright, uh, 200 miles away. Alright, we're making progress. We're down to 14 cans of fuel, but we're going to make it on fuel, I'm pretty sure. We're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. Health is still okay. We're going to rest for quite a while at the airbase, though, because it's the last stop before the final push to safe haven. Slow down. All right, guys, we're almost there. We made it, guys. We made it to the airbase. Uh, don't really... Actually, you know what? Why not? We're so near the end of the game, we might as well. This should be the last time we need to do a, uh, any sort of... This is the last job, actually, before the end, so cool. Last job, guys. Die. Crap! Die. Crap. Got him. Got him. Two more. One more. How do all those buildings look exactly the same? Did the bandits, like, build them or something after the uh, apocalypse started? <laughs> all right. Action hero. Chance to not use a bullet when you fire. Well, in all honesty, since we're not going to use the money for anything else, we might as well. I mean, we're not going to use the money for anything else. Oh, I don't think I took it. So, why not? We're not going to use the money anywhere else, so we might as well. Uh, we're definitely going to need to rest here. We definitely need to rest and repair the vehicle. As everyone's kind of on low health right now. I'm saving the med kits for the last push. Okay, we're going to repair. If the station wagon gets repaired one more time, it should make it all the way. Alright, so the station wagon should make it. We have a little scrap left over, just in case. 
Uh, we're gonna rest for a good eight hours here. Oh, eight hours. We're gonna rest for about eight hours here and make sure everyone's at full health headed out on the last trip. We have more than enough food to make it, so guys, we are gonna survive, we are gonna live, we are gonna make it through. Man, it's almost done. You know, this this was a little bit shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting it to take probably eight videos to get through this, but it's only going to take six. So I'm quite happy about that. I mean, I didn't scavenge maybe as much as I could have, but... All right, we can stop. Don't need to rest anymore. Zombies seem to get more active at night. Well, duh, we are sort of used to that. That's like in everything. So everything's in good shape. But guys, what do you say we just go scavenge one last time, for old time's sake? Let's go do it one last time. Get one last load of supplies for the final push, just because I can. Just want to do it one last time to make the final push to the end. It's about 400 miles away, I think, so no, that's what I said last time, but I know it's not as far as the airbase was. I wouldn't have minded getting a little more money, but hey, the food can't hurt, so food doesn't hurt. Now we're going to have even more supplies when we make it. Die. Die. And we made it. That's our last time scavenging with 250 ounces of food. So, with that, guys, we have only 322 miles to go until we complete the game. We're almost to the end, so next time, part six will be the finale. See you guys then.